Tesla is taking a completely unexpected step toward its two new cars. Tesla wants to evolve. CEO Elon Musk has announced several steps that point to major changes. Among them are two completely new electric cars, but another plan really catches the eye. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news as we bring you daily developments from Tesla. So the advertising is one of them and Musk is doing it after all. Tesla wants to advertise. The plan that CEO Elon Musk announced at the annual shareholder meeting is that simple at least in the first steps. We're going to try some advertising and see how it goes, Musk told attendees, and I have already reported about this. Actually, an absolute standard, just not at Tesla. The company has always avoided traditional advertising. So far, Elon Musk has primarily relied on word of mouth and it has worked pretty well. The most obvious and largest advertiser for Tesla is Elon Musk himself, with his tweets sometimes on cryptocurrencies, political issues, but also about the often vague plans of the electric car manufacturer. The billionaire reaches so many people anyway that some advertising companies only talk about it can dream. In the past, Elon Musk had often been proud that Tesla dispensed with classic advertising channels. What could have changed in the basic attitude is unclear. It is possible that Tesla now wants to turn to classic advertising because of the increasing competition. It remains exciting to see what campaigns the car manufacturer could now take. So look forward for Tesla's first advertising. So now, two new cars and Tesla CEO does not look at the cards. Tesla plans for two new electric vehicles and are, they are less new, but all the more exciting. Elon Musk's statements during the shareholders meeting were not particularly specific about these new cars. It's not the right place. He only confirmed again that Tesla is working on other models, which is about time. It has been clear for some time that a model should be a cheap Tesla priced below the Model 3. A look at the silhouette was already visible at the event in the background. Otherwise, the Tesla boss tried the usual superlative technically and in terms of design, the two new electric cars should be far ahead in the industry. It remains to be seen whether the cheapest Tesla is actually a mini version of the Model Y like the Volkswagen. Tesla is aiming for price below $2,000. $25,000. On the other hand, there was still no information about the second apparently planned new model from Tesla. With the current Model Y, Tesla wants to build the most successful electric car in the world this year. But will the other one be a Tesla electric van? Let me know your thoughts, friends, in the comment section below. But what's important is that Tesla is planning two new cars and taking a completely unexpected step towards making those two cars and marketing it in the automotive market. Tesla Giga Texas drone operator Joe Techmeyer today teased these mysterious deliveries. What could they be in the box? What do you think, friends? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. On May 22nd, 2023, today, Joe Techmeyer, a drone operator monitoring the activities at Tesla Giga Texas facility, took to Twitter to share an intriguing observation. He tweeted about the arrival of mysterious deliveries at Tesla's electric car Giga factory in Texas at the factory and hinted at the contents of the boxes being lifted onto the Southwest platform. The deliveries appear to involve new pipe work, food in gray bar cages on the southeast side of the Giga factory, and conduit connections located just east of the casting area of Giga factory, Texas. Joe also mentioned that he would be posting a YouTube video later in the day to provide more details. So, in this report, I'm going to explore the potential nature of these deliveries and their significance for Tesla Gigafactory Texas. Now, analyzing the tweet. In his tweet, Joe Tecmai raises the question, what's in the box? He speculates that the items being delivered might be feeds for the factory. However, he also points out that the switchyard at Giga Texas does not have provisions for an additional 345 kilowatt underground connection and 300 45 kilowatt cables are not topical and um, typical run for in PVC. Now, fits for the factory. 
The term feeds usually refers to the supply of resources required to sustain a manufacturing facility. In the context of Giga Texas, it could imply any components, materials, or utilities necessary for the production processes within the factory. Since Joe mentioned new pipe work, it is possible that the delivery is involved in infrastructure for the supply of liquids or gases to specific areas of the factory. Now, pipe works and ray bar cages, what are those? The mention of pipe works and ray bar cages on the southeast side of Gigafactory Texas Electric Vehicle Car Factory indicates construction activities. Ray bar cages are structures made of reinforcing bars used to strengthen concrete foundations or structural elements. The delivery of these cages suggests ongoing construction work potentially related to the expansion or modification of the building's infrastructure. It could be indicative of the construction of new sections, additional floors, or supply structures. Joe Techmeyer's tweet also highlights conduit connections located just east of the casting area. Conduits are pipes or channels used to protect electrical or communication wiring. The presence of conduit connections suggests the installation of new electrical or communications lines at Gigafactory Texas. These connections might support the integration of advanced technology data transfer or power distribution throughout Tesla's electric car factory at Gigafactory Texas. Now, what are the implications for Tesla at Giga Texas? Friends, the arrival of these mysterious deliveries and the ongoing construction activities at Gigafactory Texas signify progress and expansion at the facility. Tesla has been known for its continuous efforts to enhance its manufacturing capabilities and increase production capacity. These developments could be part of Tesla's strategy to optimize the production processes and improve efficiency at Giga Texas. Tesla Giga Texas facility is one of the largest manufacturing sites for electric cars and energy storage systems. It aims to produce uh, various models, including the Cybertruck, which is about to come maybe in a month or two, and the Tesla Semi. The continuous upgrades and expansions at uh, Giga Texas indicates Tesla's commitment to meeting the growing demand for its products while ensuring a sustainable future. So what do you think, friends, about Joe's tweet? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I'll look forward to hearing your comments. Tesla Semi is still generating a lot of excitement, particularly at the recent Tesla shareholder meeting. Wow. Are you waiting to get in? Oh no, I, I work on this. Oh, you work on this. Can I get in? Yes, um, there's a line to get in. Oh, for my bad. I'm going to cut in. So. Oh, no, you're all good. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Oh, there's a big line. Oh, oh, that's what it is. Okay, all right. I don't know if I want to get in that long of a line. Twitter user AJ Agra Agarwald, who attended the recent Tesla shareholder meeting, gave us a glimpse of the Tesla Semi and a big line of people waiting to get into the truck. The Tesla Semi, friends, is an electric semi truck, as you may know, that was first unveiled in 2017. It has a range of up to 500 miles and can tow up to 80,000 pounds. The truck has been met with a lot of excitement from the trucking industry as it has the potential to significantly reduce fuel costs and emission. In his tweet, Agarwal showed a picture from a video of a line of people waiting to get into the Tesla Semi. He also said that there was a lot of excitement, and you can see that from the video, and interest into Tesla Semi truck from the people um, uh, at the meeting. Now, this excitement is a good sign for Tesla as it shows that there is a strong demand for Tesla Semi, at least an interest. You know that PepsiCo is already using. They have a fleet of Tesla semis operating mainly in California and um, the Tesla semi is a major development in the trucking industry. I think in the next couple of years Tesla may sell about 100,000 Tesla semis once it starts the it starts ramping up the production of Tesla semi. It has started the production but it's not ramped up yet. 
So we'll see how things go and how fast Tesla will go. It, you know, usually it's expected that the average cost of Tesla semi to be about one hundred fifty thousand dollars. If you guys are truck in, in the trucking industry, what do you think about the price of Tesla semi? Do you think it's uh, good, bad, or average? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I think it's really exciting, beautiful. We can have a little glimpse of test inside Tesla semi, but not the full cabin. But hopefully in the next coming weeks, I will have more information about the latest on Tesla semi. So if you are interested in, in this truck, please let me know your thoughts and uh, subscribe to this channel as I will bring you the latest on Tesla Semi.